this film is getting a lot of buzz. What was it like for you doing an amazing project like this? You know, it's, it's a little surreal to be here you know, at the premiere, uh, the movie opens up in a week. You know, it's been nine years trying to get this movie made and since I first started writing it. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I couldn't be more thrilled. I had an amazing team that uh, and got to have my daughter play my own, my daughter in the movie. And um, so, you know, the movie's about heroicism and it's about community. It's about people coming together. Um, you know, one of the things I, I love that you know, in Nome, Alaska in 1925, you know, their the children were dying, it was middle winter, and they were out of the vaccine, and they had to put together a dog relay team to cover 700 miles through 80 below zero. But, you know, in a culture we live in today, I mean, there was a lot of indigenous Native American kids that were infected, um, and, but, you know, it wasn't, it, it was, it wasn't about the color of your skin. It wasn't about any of that back in that time period. And it was about community and people coming together, you know, and acts of just being, not being selfish. And I mean, there's no rhyme or reason when you look at science and you look at 80 below zero, they should have never made it. Uh, they should have never made it. And so um, it's a true miracle story. You, could, you sort of answered my question, which was going to be, what would you hope the audience would come away with? But I think you said that about community and just who cares as long as you can help. Yeah, you know, I mean, I hope that it's, to me, I wanted the movie to appeal to adults as well as kids. You know, it's an educational uh, experience for families. And there's not many movies, it's kind of a little bit old fashioned where, you know, an entire family can have a movie night out and enjoy, you know, not necessarily, I, look, I have three kids, I love animated movies, but, uh, you know, I mean, this is one I think adults can really identify with and same with kids. I know we have to end soon, but if there's one thing you learned about yourself doing this project, obviously you probably learned a lot, but what do you take away on a personal note about this? You know, um, teamwork's everything. Um, you know, I mean, I, I, um, I mean, I was the writer, director, played the lead, but you know, there's no I in team. And um, I had an amazing crew, amazing team. To put, put a crew of people and actors in 12,000 feet up, in the mountains, in the middle of winter, and snow, and 10 degrees every day, like, you know, for two months. I mean, that takes us, that takes intense. And so we, but it was really awesome to watch the synergy of people coming together. I mean, and, you know, similar to what's happening in the movie. And like, you know, everybody told me I was never gonna be able to make this movie. Dogs, kids, snow, wolves, bears, you know, first time director, no way. And so, and now here you are. And now here we are, yes ma'am. That's courage. But of course, before you leave, social media about the film, how can people find more and, and when does it open? All the things we need to know. The, the movie opens up nationwide October 25th uh, in theaters across the United States. Uh, at Great Alaskan Race, uh, at P12 Films, at Brian Presley 12. Um, you can get all the updates, uh, but go see it. I think you'll be uh, glad you did, you know, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, we, there needs to be more movies like this. We're not the art house movie, but we're not Avengers. And so um, we hope to bring more to the big screen. What do you hope the audience member will take away when they see this well, film? What would you hope? They're entertained. I hope that they uh, are excited and learn something about American history. I hope that they can see that in these very troubled times, there are times when Americans come together and are selfless and put themselves, you know, beside a greater purpose, which is to save these kids' lives. And it was really wonderful. The kids are mixed race, indigenous and white and there is no differentiation. The thing is to save these kids' lives. And it's a, it's a terrific story. And Brian uh, Presley did a wonderful job. It's a beautifully shot movie. This guy is shooting me right now. I did a great job. So uh, it's, really, it's really beautiful to look at and um, very heartfelt. And I'm very proud of it. How important was it for you to be involved in this project? How what? How important was it for you? Well, you know, it was important in that I, I, I was offered the movie and I saw Brian's test footage. I did some gorgeous footage uh, and I read the script and I saw Brian's first film that he produced and I was very impressed and, and uh, I, I really wanted to be a part of it. You know. What was the thing about the script, the one thing that impressed you the most in reading the script? I think there are so few films now about 
you know, that the whole family can go see. And that sounds kind of hokey, but it's true. There are very few films that the family can see that are character driven and story driven and beautiful to look at. And this kind of harkens back to the films that I grew up on, like Dr. Zhivago and, and, and uh, I mean, not, any, not akin to them in story, but in terms of the scope of the film, it's really a big, big movie. And I'm really impressed with how they shot it. Did you learn anything from the kids and the dogs doing this? Project. Yeah, I did. I learned that. I learned that you know, surround yourself with love and and care and warmth, and uh, your day's going to go a lot better these days if you find places to to reboot and charge your batteries with some love. How do you handle the cold? It wasn't that bad. I was inside most of the time. I was lucky. Okay. You'd have to ask Brian that question, and 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 he said that the wardrobe that he wore was very helpful. People figured out how to stay warm there over a couple thousand years. Thank you so much for chatting with me. Good to see you again. Thanks. We have with the beautiful Emma. Emma, I am just so fascinated um, about this great, great film. So I need you to tell me, what was the most important experience for you doing this film? Um, doing this film, I think the most important experience for me is hanging out with all the crew, meeting everyone, and especially doing it with my dad, writer-director Brian Presley. Well, that's a whole mouthful. Now, you, you're you playing the, in the film. What was the most challenging thing, if you could think of something that was challenging about your role? What was that? That was probably, like, riding the dog sled, because what, I want to tell you a funny story. So me and my dad, we were taking a shot with um, a GoPro, and we re rode up a hill. But right next to it, there was a cliff. And so the dogs, they were, like, heading toward my dad. Well, he wasn't paying, paying attention. He was making sure I was okay. And he's like, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. And we tip over. And I was in, like, the car compartment, so I was, like, under the sled and dad had to push Whoa. it over some other people came running up to help him i was like under the sled wow now did you have to practice a lot i mean besides that besides that funny thing that happened did you practice a lot at all um about like the script and anything in terms of like learning how to you know do the sled and, and work with the dogs oh no i'm not i wasn't really on the sled that much that was probably like an extra seat i wasn't really on the extra the sled that much so probably no i didn't have to practice a lot my dad um she works with ashley uh, sorry, uh, yeah ashley who brought the dogs and he taught he taught her he she taught him how to like ride the dog sled wow. was it really cold Yes, it was freezing. It was not even cold, it's freezing. I can't, even you. I can't even handle like the chili right now in California, so I can't imagine that. I'm literally for outside. I stand, I say something, I'm like, that's when I'm done. I run in the house, I literally grab all the hand packs. It's so cold. Well, I am so happy you're in this film. Wonderful to meet you. And I don't know if you, do you have social media? Are you allowed to have Instagram or Facebook or? Not yet. Okay, so we'll just follow you in the film and we'll just say how wonderful you are, right? Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I'm in the trailer, so you probably see me being a jerk in the trailer. I'm one of the, uh, I'm, one, I'm the town congressman, town councilman, and uh, I'm opposed to this whole idea of mushing 700 miles to get the antitoxin. I think it's preposterous, and I make no bones about telling people that I think it's preposterous. I did my best. Hopefully you're intimidated when you watch the film. Well, I mean, it's a great, whenever you can do a, a true life story, it's as an actor, it's always a treat. And it's a period piece. So you get to do a period piece and be in a true story. And it's a heroic story with a, with a happy ending. There's so much, you know, dismay and the negativity in the world today. So when you get a chance to do a positive story of heroism set in the 20s, you know, uh, it's just, a, it's, it's fun. It's a no brainer. Um, I would say that uh, if I could pick one thing, that's a good question. I would say, choose your moment to be a hero. Yes, please. I'm on Instagram and all of the social media platforms at Adam Ambruso. And last name is A-M-B-R-U-S-O. So very easy to find. Just first and last name. I play Yuka. Um, so my daughter is the first one to pass away from the diphtheria. So it sort of sets off the events of the film of trying to get the antitoxin and everything. How did you get involved in a project? How did you get cast? 
Um, well, I auditioned. I actually know Will Wallace, who's one of the producers on it, and he told me about it. I read the script. I really liked it. What was it about the script that we know is based on a true story, but what was it about the script that really you said, oh my gosh, this is like something I've got to want to be a part of? Well, I think just how inspiring it is, um, just the fact that it's about a whole village coming together to save the children was just incredible, and despite all odds, being successful. And I heard that it was cold. Now, how cold was cold? I could barely handle California weather, so how cold was cold? This was so cold, I would go outside with like damp hair and it would just freeze by the end of the block. Yes. It was, it was free. It was unlike anything I've ever experienced before in my life. If there was one thing you would like the audience member to take away when they see this film, what would that one thing be? Obviously, there's probably tons of things you would like them to take away, but it was one thing that they would come away with. What would that be for you? Um, probably just that if you come together, you can accomplish anything, no matter how impossible it seems. Um, and just that there are always people who are going to be willing to risk their lives to save others. And there are really good people out there. But before you leave the carpet, of course, social media, so we can find you, follow you, and stay in touch. Uh, my name is Emily Jira. My Instagram is MQJ, so it's E-M-Q-J-A-Y.